Okay, what's up guys? Uh, I wanted to show you how to use puzzle mats really quickly inside of Redshift. Uh, this is just a workflow that I use when I just have single objects. I want to isolate them and post. Uh, and so here we go. Uh, I'm going to just create a bunch of different objects here. Undock this. Let's just make a bunch of unique different objects. Okay, now I'm going to take all of these and just offset them uh, on the X just so I can see them separated. And we can just do that by typing in num times, let's say, 200. All right, so that offsets them in the X position. Now what we need to do is right click and go to Redshift and set up an object tag. Okay, now inside of the object ID, this is where you're going to want to hit the override. Uh, the way you can do this either by setting up... Uh, you can select multiple objects and type in the same ID, or if you want to select all the objects and have individual IDs, uh, what you can do is come in here and again type num times one, and it basically takes it takes the index value and then it just offsets it by one. So each one of these now has a unique object ID tag. Now what we're going to want to do inside of our render settings, we go to Redshift, we go to AOV, and we go to the AOV manager, which I have docked right here. This AOV manager, we want to scroll down to puzzle mats. Now, because of the way that this um, AOV manager works, you can actually click and drag in multiple puzzle mats, uh, and these will all export individually. So here we go. Let me make some room here. Uh, so the puzzle mats, what you want to do is make sure that each one of these, we don't use material ID, we use the object ID. And so that's going to be selecting the object IDs that we've predefined. Each one of these channels is going to need a different number inside of it. So red is going to be one, green two, three, so on and so forth. So each one of these is going to be in relation to the uh, object IDs that we've predefined. Okay, so now, uh, now that I've defined those, you can actually, if we hit play on a render view here, uh, give it a second, Okay, here we go. Here's all of our objects. Um, we can move them. We can do whatever we want. Now, if we go into this drop down here, we don't see anything. Why is that? Well, because we need to hit our bucket rendering. Our bucket rendering is kind of like Final Image, but without the um, like motion blur. I think is the only thing that we're not going to see here. And so, as you can see, those three objects here are defined by red, green, and blue. Now, each one of these puzzle mats is going to have uh, the object IDs set up. Let me just make sure I oh see I didn't I didn't do material ID. You got to go object ID and object ID and there you go. And then now when you select your drop down, your puzzle mats will show. So there you go. Now inside of After Effects, you're just going to use a set mat. Um, on your layer and then set mat to the different channels and you will be set to go. There you go. Puzzle mats in Redshift. Let me know if you have any questions. See you guys.